Hello everyone, welcome back to my Trappist 1 stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. The VAB music is playing randomly, and I am once again trying to put something in into orbit around the moon, the Trappist 1E moon. Uh, but it's been hard, especially since we don't have the tracking station unlocked, I don't have flight planning or the ability to see patched conics. So it, we're just going to be going blind here. And I've decided to modify this by adding a tank to the to the terrier stage to make it slightly more efficient. That hurts, of course, the stuff down here, but we would rather have the upper stages a little bit better. It gives us about 300 meters per second more. So we'll try it out with that. Uh, but trying to get into this particular orbit without being able to have maneuver nodes so that we can fine tune our approach to make sure that we're getting to a place where we could capture like that is difficult. I've decided to put the barometer on this time to give us some other science. I think we had the thermometer on before. I don't know if we'll get anything extra to transmit. The reason we had the thermometer in particular is because it takes extra power to transmit the barometer science, but we do have the extra battery. Um, I don't know if it'll be enough. You know what? Uh, what we'll do is we'll have the other battery. I'm gonna tuck it into. Okay, maybe that'll give us some extra. SAS on, throttles up, and launch. Well, it feels very precarious right now. That's this piece of... This again. This rocket always wants to do this. the two boosters there. Okay, and it'll probably flip more once we separate the boosters. Or it could do that. Oh no, we're, we're in bad shape now. So yeah, this install is meant to be quite a challenge for me, and it sure is. Trappist one thing is more difficult than I expected. It's probably more difficult, especially at the start, considering that we have the stock parts, uh, than real solar system. Since the stock parts and stock career it is very difficult. I don't think we're going to have a good time here. The spark is a little bit too tiny. You know, there is Minmus. I don't know how Minmus is like, but we could do some science and so focus on the moon because that's what the contracts are for. Well, it's harder to get sucked in by Minmus though. Then again, it's so hard with the moon anyway. In other words, getting into the SOI. Alright, ant time. I don't know why I'm trying to get this into orbit, but here we are. Not like it can do anything. Up, oh, we lost comms. Our periapsis is actually going down because now we're pointing so radially. And I can't change that. All right, well, let's run out. And I guess, yeah, this is the orbit. So definitely not encountering the moon or anything. Um, let me just see when we get comms, it'll be disposed of eventually. Okay, we've got comms. And well, recovery would be 3.2, but yeah, we can't get anything. So I'll just watch it get destroyed. And there we have it. All right, need to do better. Be sad not to, maybe I should just aim for a Minmus. Hmm, let's get some Minmus science first. Be sad doing that before getting a Minmus contract though. Let me let me just see if we can get one. 
Are they going to be nice to us? Nope. No Mimbus contracts. Maybe I can decline some. I'm not doing any rescues right now. No, no flea. Wait. Flea at the launch site? Let me just do that quickly. It's one science. I'm begging for stuff right now. Okay. Run test. Oh, run test does ignite it. That's fine. I have no problem with that. We lost the money on the solid fuel, but that's about it. Oh, wow, look at that. With my city in the background and the bridge. That's very uh, Art Deco sort of thing. Practically back on the launch pad, almost. Crawl our way. Up. All right, recover. Uh, it's still not giving me anything for for Minmus. Well, I'm going to go to Minmus anyway, and we're going to carry some science. Well, is this antenna good enough for Minmus, though? Eh, it should be. 31.6, let me see. Uh, it's 22.15, so I guess that'll be enough. Alright, so for my Minmus probe, I've decided to leave off the spark stage and make this all shorter. Leaving off the spark stage allowed me to put on fins, and hopefully that will help. We don't have as much delta V, of course, I was trying to maximize delta V, but that was for an orbital rocket and uh, for one that would capture into orbit around the moon and this time we're just trying to get to Minmus. we'll see it's gonna be hard because again i don't have patch conics or anything like that and no flight planning so yeah let's see how it works out pretty high thrust weight ratio at the start that might be a little bit too high um i want it high though because the the lower i make the thrust limiter the less delta v we have so that's a consideration, and that's because we're carrying the dry mass of the boosters for that whole time. And yeah, otherwise things should be fine, and I've got the little fins on. Maybe that'll help. It says that the center, ma uh, center of lift is down here, but I don't believe it. <laughs> so anyway, let's go. I don't even know what kind of transfer it takes to get to Minmus. I don't know how the comms will be. Of course, we've only got the little comm antenna. Maybe I should put a bigger comm antenna. But just one sort of imbalances things. Let's try it with this first. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and go. Mimus is still at its inclined orbit, I think, so... I didn't change anything about that. So we'll try for an off-plane transfer. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It's doing the same thing as usual. <laughs> Little fins have not helped enough. Uh, maybe they helped a little. Okay, booster set. Okay, we still have our engine. They still exploded. Well, I feel free to tilt down here. Red sun in the background. Okay, Terrier. We'll probably end up with maybe 3,700 meters per second to do with what we like once we reach orbit. I'm keeping us higher up so that we still have comms, even though that's not efficient. Okay, maybe a little bit too lopsided here. Okay, well, that's an orbit, but yeah, I went a little bit too extreme on the trying to keep communication thing. 
So we're trying to get to Minmus. I can't target it. Um, it looks like our Apwaps side is the side that we want to meet Minmus on. Um, I'm just going to keep burning forward. Well, no, but it, uh, our Apwaps is probably over here ish. Let me, let's see. Let me just time warp and see how it goes and make sure that the probe is on hibernate. Well, we have to worry mainly about the inclination. So I don't think I can burn out of my periapsis very well. We either get to burn out from here or there, I think. Here is very high. <laughs> the other side might be high too. Well, here's not so high. So, let me see. All right, I think this will be a good time for an offplane transfer as long as we get comms, and then we'll try to meet up with it over there. Got a satellite that appears to be helping us out fairly, but I don't trust it. <laughs> okay, now we have full comms, presumably. Let me take advantage of it. Okay, Terrier stage conclusion. And ants. Well, we are getting help from the low commsat, even though we have a weak antenna. Our orbit is right there. It's not perfect. The time it takes to do the burn has th sort of thrown us off. Well. There's a little part that might touch Mrs. Orbit, and that's the part I want to have touch the Mrs. Orbit. So let's say it's like that for now, and we'll figure it out. Let's turn for power. Well, past Mimis's Orbit, we do not have comms. Right at Mimis's Orbit, we will. Now we just have to encounter Minmus. Got 1,678 to work with, so that's a lot. If I could tilt our orbit, maybe we could meet up with it over here. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, we can't, uh, we don't have comms, so no, I can't. Can try it over here. Try to get a better inclination. Well, from this angle, that looks better. Didn't cost too much. Let's see. I'll try and bring our orbit down just a little bit. And behind. More behind. Well, you know, that could work out. Uh, it's got to be ahead. Uh, uh, so close. Let me pull the orbit further down. Come on, Minmus. Come on. Come on, get us. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're, we're just really close. Well, if it's behind us, we should lift our orbit a bit. That lifted our orbit too much. Hold on. Ooh. Come on. Okay, 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 Minmus SOI. All right, we're not gonna hang out here for long. Let me just see if we can make orbit. It looks like, you know, Delta V-wise it's possible. All right, Minmus. Gosh, I need something to make it look better. All right, temperature scan. No, only six though. Transmit. Uh, I don't know, maybe Minmus's orbital velocity at this height is 
A little bit slow though. So maybe we won't make it. Ah, we've been spit out already. The line was lying. Okay, well, we couldn't capture Ramnimus. We got a tiny bit of science. Don't know if it was worth it, but maybe the new version without the spark engine is better than the version that keeps flopping around. I mean, it flopped around a little. It didn't flop around that much is the point. So maybe we should try the moon again with it. Still doesn't seem to have enough delta V for a capture though. And it takes a long time to get to places. I don't know, having gotten into Minmus SOI, will they give us contracts for it? Test the hammer at the launch site? It's too much trouble. No Willand. Come on, Minmus. All heat shield into flight. No. More observational survey. Well, crew reports, yeah, but that's even worse than having probe stuff. Science, scientific data from space around Kerbin. Well, I mean, we can do that. Let's do... Let's do the Science Junior. I'm going to replace the pod. With a science junior? Gosh, that heat shield doesn't look great. Doesn't look big enough for it. Um, <laughs> it's worrisome. But... And some goo. I, I think we've already done bring back the goo, but just in case. We'll toss it into high orbit. And that should take care of the contract as well. Science data from space around Kerbin. Okay, so, Delta Junior. Okay, uh, this might tilt over, let's go. Come on, we don't have an ant engine this time. Okay, booster is set. Alright, and next. Well, I can get these supplementary antennae out. Hopefully we'll have a better communication situation with this than some of the other missions. We do have one of the low commsats overhead. Well, we can conduct a material study already. I won't do the high over yet. Recovery is 15. Gotta try and recover it, though it's got bits sort of sticking out from the heat shield. And, oh, we've already done the low over Kerbin goo 1.4. Well, I'll try and get the 1.4, and then we'll do the other goo high over, which we should get. No, let me just cut there. We'll round it out at Apoapsis, or just bring it to a periapsis that will re-enter. Oh no, I don't have a whole lot of electric charge. Gosh darn it, I've got extra battery. Well, hopefully we'll recharge somehow. Oh boy. Can I arm the parachute at least? Not really. And it's gonna come down. And it's not like the terrier recharges things. No. We're not gonna get sunlight in time. Oh. And atmosphere. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Well, there goes the science junior. And everything. Ah! Okay, back to space center. Fine, I'm going to omit the goose and just get battery. We'll get the 15 science. Also, also hibernate and warp would be good. All right, again. All right, here we go again. SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Still don't know if 
the heat shield can protect the science junior at all anyway. There are plenty of things. Oops, booster set. Oh no! Gosh darn it. Okay, well, shucks. Terrier doesn't have enough juice. Okay, fine. Um, material study in high atmosphere. 13.5 is not bad. 13.5 isn't bad. We can do that. Fine. <laughs> What's all this thing about space anyway? But we were supposed to do the contract science from space around Kerbin. I should have just gone suborbital. Uh, okay. We're doing this first. And then we'll make a suborbital rocket to get some from space. Shoot. Why am I even bothering with orbit? Well, the way the buildings cast those shadows is sort of nice. Yep, I definitely think we should all have cities in the background. Oh, that's a special shadow that just popped up. Oop, there's one. I guess those buildings are casting really long shadows now. Alright, recover vessel. Okay, got some science anyway. Now what we really want is the bobcats. I want the bobcats. Uh, preferably I would also want some of this stuff. But I'd like the bobcats. And maybe the big boosters. Well, without gambling on the boosters, those are dangerous. But they could save us some trouble. With the bobcat in between, it should be okay. The bobcat has good gimbling. It has 5 degree of vectoring range. As opposed to the swivel. Swivel only has 3. Okay, let's make this simpler. We're just going to go to space. Okay, not really Delta Junior. Space Junior. Sounding rocket time. Alright, SAS on, throttle up, and launch. The red sun has its moments. Sort of makes the landscape look purple here. Well, that's space enough. And material study. 15 science keep. Okay, we need to... let's slow down a bit. Okay, dumping stage. And might as well arm the parachute. Okay, it's slowed down well enough. And the bridge right there. And recover. Alright, 15 there, and that fulfills the contract, I trust. Yes, it did. Lots of moon. They still don't know about Minmus. Um, Alright, but let me get high over science with the science junior quickly. We need every bit we can get. So I think just with this engine it'll be fine. We'll try and use it again to slow down on the way down, just as I did on the previous one. It will be more necessary with the high over, but yep, it's just 250 kilometers. Considering the scale of the planet, it's not too bad. Okay, so once again, go. But we probably need a little bit more after this. We want 90 science to get the bobcats. And then 90 more science to get the other tanks. But I'll try and get the bobcats in this video, finally. At least we'll do that. Okay, well, that's more than enough. Okay, that should be high over. 
13.9 science. Okay, I'm gonna try and slow down here. Yeah, I'll just slow down with what we've got and we'll flick it off. All right. And arming the parachutes. Will the atmosphere slow us down soon enough for the parachute to, to deploy? That is the question. Oh, there's some heating too. Angie's. Okay, but uh, we're okay with that part. And it looks like we will be slowed down. Okay, and stuck the landing. 13.9, we need 4.6. 4.6 somewhere. Can't we just do it on the pad? Have I done that yet? <laughs> or a runway? Hold on, let me see. One. Well, I'll take one right now. Cover. A 3.6. How about the runway? We haven't done goo on the runway or anything like that. Still don't have meaningful plane parts either. Totally on the desperation bit here. Slapping it all on and trying it on the runway. The runway is such as it is, of course. Well, that's 1.8. 2.2? The pressure data is great. 1.4 and... Science Junior. 4.5. Well, the Science Junior could have done it all on its own. Okay. Recover. There's lots of science that I haven't picked up yet, but... It's better to go to space. <laughs> anyway, so unlocking heavy rocketry. But we don't really have the tanks yet. So, right. Next time I'm going to focus on getting the tanks, I swear. But at least we got the bobcat. And maybe switching out the boosters. Maybe just at the bottom. Let me just take a look. Let's consider the situation here for our moon orbiter, let's say. I mean, putting the bobcat down here is not a great idea. But if we put it sideways and put that mount, it can fit. I don't know if we want the larger boosters yet. The Pollux is bigger, but it still doesn't have gimbling, so that's like a death trap. Um... Maybe I should just keep these and see if at least they can go off safely. It's a lot of vacuum delta V. Oop. So maybe the Bobcat engine can control this so it doesn't flip. But really we need the other tanks. So, so we'll see. I'll consider that in the next video. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.